Hello everyone, uh, update breaking news. We've got a reaction from the school district after we released the video showing the communist teacher hanging the Antifa flag in his classroom and saying he's got 180 days to revolutionize his students. I have 180 days to turn them into revolutionaries. So the school district issued a statement. This is in Sacramento, California. It said in part, Natomas United is aware of the Project Veritas video released this morning. We understand that parents and the Thomas community members have expressed their concern about the contents of the video. A very postmodern reaction here. Uh, we understand they've expressed their concern. Now, what's happening is parents are inundating the school with messages, as you should too. And here are their email addresses for uh, Principal Lori Strickland, Assistant Principal Brian Wellborn, Assistant Principal Derek Dykstra, Assistant Principal Jackie Fritas. We even got a message from the uh, Mika Grant, who is, is on the board. Yep. Yeah. He's on the board of the school district. Quote, I'm a lifelong defender of individual freedoms and personal expression, but I am deeply concerned when I've seen the video released by Project Veritas. Parents depend upon us to provide a safe and nurturing educational environment for their children. There's also a school board meeting tomorrow. Project Veritas reporters will be in attendance. This is going to be an unbelievable thing to witness. You can actually stream into it at uh, this address here netomusunited.org slash board of trustees videos. Parents are going to be showing up. It's going to be something else to behold. What's most interesting about today is someone pointed out that this guy actually has an InSock tattoo on his arm. You all recall what InSock is. It's the fictional one party in George Orwell's dystopia 1984. Usually people are opposed to that dystopia. No, this guy, this high school teacher has tattooed InSock from 1984 on his arm. <laughs> um, ignorance is strength. War is peace. Freedom is slavery. Did I get that right? Ignorance is strength. He actually embraces this motto by having the tattoo on his arm. Also interesting about today is we confront we confronted the teacher. Uh, our undercover journalist did so in Sacramento, and he told us that he felt uncomfortable. I don't feel this comfortable with uncomfortable. this. When undercover, he told the person he thought he was speaking to a parent that his role is to make people feel uncomfortable if they don't like the Antifa flag. Like, I, I have an Antifa flag on my on my wall, um, and a student complained about that, and he said it made him feel uncomfortable. Well, this is meant to make fascists feel uncomfortable, so if you feel uncomfortable, I, I don't really know what to tell you. <laughs> we released a lot of videos over the last 10 years, but some are saying that this video is maybe the most shocking, or the most influential, because, again, it is a public school teacher saying and doing these things. Listen to what Tim Pool had to say. This is probably one of Project Veritas's most important stories. It's not about Google or other massive multinational billion dollar corporations. It's not about politicians and the policies they put in place. This is about a high school teacher. That's it. To follow up on what Tim Pool said, I think it's the simplicity of what this man has said and how obvious, how shocking what he's doing is. He's giving extra credit. He's bragging about giving extra credit assignments to students to go to Antifa rallies and giving them, quote, they students get points for doing it. Unbelievable. Send an email to these principals. There's gonna be a consequence to the story. We're already having people inside the school send us messages. They're probably gonna record what's happening in this school. More to come, stay tuned.